Welcome everyone to Easy Code Is, where you the users can determine what features I will be implementing. If there's something you want to learn when coding a website, leave a comment and I just might make a video about it. Today we're going to be coding up our login page, the front end, with HTML, CSS, and jQuery. Once we have coded up the front end, it will look like this. On our home page, we're going to be adding a login button. Zoom this in a little bit here. So we'll have a login button right next to our sign up button. Click login and that takes us to our login page. Over in our easy code is folder, we're going to want to open up our index file. This is where we will be adding our login button to our home page. We're going to scroll down to where our sign up button is at. We're going to copy this and paste it right below it. This time it's going to be a login button. We're going to leave the class the same. And this time we're going to direct to a login.php file. Save that, hop over to a new tab, and we have a login button. Now we just need to get our login and sign up button sitting next to each other so it looks a little better. In order to get these buttons to not be with 100%, we need to make them display inline block so they only expand to the width of the content inside of them. Hop over to our firebug here, and my on my button container here, I'm going to do display inline block. Block. There we go. So we want to display it inline block for our desktop version. To do that, we're going to open up the home.css file, copy our button container class inside of our desktop media query. We're going to make the view display inline block. Now, if I go back to this page and refresh it, our login and our sign up button are looking good. On mobile, we only have our sign up buttons. So we need to hop back to our index file, just as we did here in our PC desktop container, PC only. We need to scroll down to our mobile only container, copy this and paste it again. Login.php for the redirect our button is going to say login. Now, if we refresh our page here on mobile site, our login button is there. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this extra white space above the sign up button. So you want it to be the same margin on the right and left side of the buttons as we do on the top. So to get rid of that extra white space, we have to remove the margin top on our content inner div. So right now we have a margin top of 20 pixels on it. For the mobile site, our mobile media query, we need to add a class and say margin top zero. Refresh our page, and there we go. Now it looks a lot better. We have a uniform margin around the buttons on the top, left, and right. Now all we need to do is add margin top to our login button. So we're going to create another class in our home.css file. We're going to call this default margin top. All it's going to contain is a margin top of 20 pixels, so we will be able to use this throughout our site wherever we want margin on top of 20 pixels. In this case, we want it on our login button. So we're going to add that class to the login button container along with our button container class. Refresh our page, and there we go. Except for 20 pixels is 10 pixels too many. See how that looks off. Change default margin top to 10 pixels. Refresh it. Now we're evenly spaced. We have our login button created on both mobile and our desktop view, so it's responsive. All right, so now we can start coding up our login.php file, file that is going to be hit when the user clicks on the login button. I'm going to click on this login button, and hey, we get a not found page. I wonder why that is. Well, that's because login.php does not exist yet. What we want to do is hop over to our easy code is folder, copy our signup.php file, and we're going to rename it to login.php, and then open up login.php. So we've copied over our signup.php file to a login.php file. So it's time to go line by line and change things like this to accommodate our new login functionality. Title is going to be login. We're going to keep our font family, our viewport. Our CSS here is going to be global and login. Now, since I changed this to login.css, we know this does not exist yet. Again, we're going to hop over to our easy code is folder our CSS folder, we're going to copy our sign up CSS file, and we're going to name it login CSS. Open our login CSS file right next to our login.php file. We'll be updating that in a little bit. We still want jQuery. We still want to include our loader so we can call our nice little overlay loader whenever we want. Next comes actual JavaScript on the page. 
on page load, we want to initialize our loader so it's ready for use. I'm going to skip over our on click button right now because first we're going to code up the HTML for our login page. So I'm just going to comment that out so I know that I need to come back and address it. We're going to scroll down to the HTML and the body section. We're going to change our title to login. This is the title of the white rounded uh, container for the login form. Still going line by line, we're going to change sign up form to be an ID and name of login form. Leave our error message there for any error messages that get spit out. Now our login form only requires our email address and our password. We can get rid of first and last name. And we can get rid of confirm password. Now our form will just contain an input for email and an input for password. Next is the button section. We're not signing up, we're logging in. So we're going to change this to lo login. And we're going to change this ID to be login button. Last but not least is our little uh, section at the bottom of the form that asks you if you're already a member, you need to log in. However, since we're on the login page, we want to say not a member and direct them to the signup.php page. So that should do it for our login HTML and the CSS should all be there. Look at that. We got our login, our login form with just an email and password. Our nice little button here. If you're not a member, you can click sign up and you can go to the sign up page. If I scroll to the bottom of the sign up page, we have are you already a member? Log in. If I click log in, I'm right back to the login page that we just created. So our login form has been created using HTML and CSS. If I click on the login button, nothing happens. We need to head over to our index file in the head section. We have our script. On page load, we need to initialize our login button. So I'm going to uncomment out the sign up button that I commented out. And we're going to code this up according to our login button. So this is going to take in the ID of our login button, which was login button right here. So we're going to copy that and paste that right here on click for our login button. Just like our sign up page, we want to clear out the error message if there is any, and we want to remove our invalid input class from the invalid inputs. Next, we assume all the fields are filled in, and then we loop over each input field in our login form and see if this is true. So this check right here is checking the value of the input field as it iterates over them. And then in this case, only two input fields, the email and the password. If the email is blank or the password is blank, we add the invalid input class and we set all fields filled in to false. After we've looped over our input fields, our email input and our password input, we can do our final check. If all fields are filled in, we're good to go. We show the loader and then we send off a call to our server, which is for a, another video. However, if all fields are not filled in, we spit out the error message to our error message div right here. And we say all fields must be filled in. And we add the window.scroll top zero. This ensures that you will always be scrolled to the very top of the window and you will see the error message, which is at the top of the window. We say this. Now we have our login button dot on click. And if we click on login, we should see an error message. All fields must be filled in. And our invalid input class, which gives a border of red, has been added to all the input fields which are not filled in. If I fill in the first input field with an email address and click login, now you see the email input field has passed, but the password has not passed. If I fill in a password, click login, we get our loader. It's going to never end because at this stage, we are falling into this if statement right here. If all fields are filled in, we do loader.showloader, which brings up our loader on the screen, spins, and because there's only a comment here, nothing else happens, and so they see the loader forever. Like I said before, the server-side login is coming in the next video. That's gonna do it for this video. We have our login page, the front end coded up using HTML, CSS, and jQuery. It's responsive and it looks really good. Like and subscribe down below, leave a comment, and let me know what you want to learn and see implemented next. Remember, easy code is, and I'll catch you later.